I was walking home after a night out with my friends. We all left the club a lot later than planned, but I wasn't overly conscious about walking home by myself at night since I grew up in the area. I could already hear the wind howling through the trees of the old cemetery as I passed by the entrance. That's when I noticed something out of the ordinary. The main gate to the old cemetery was open. I must have passed it a thousand times, and it was always locked. I recalled how me and my friends would always joke about the cemetery being really haunted, always daring each other to take a shortcut through it. Of course, back then we could just climb a tree and jump over the wall. Then I remembered how much faster it was taking the shortcut through the cemetery, since my house was directly on the opposite side of the burial grounds. It was already getting late, and I figured that I could save a lot of time by going through the cemetery instead of going around it, as I usually do. I also knew for a fact that the gate on the other side was a lot smaller and easier to climb over. I proceeded towards the gate and looked to see if there was anyone there. All I could see were a bunch of old tombstones and the moonlight casting shadows through the tall trees. Previously blocked by the surrounding wall of the cemetery, I suddenly felt the full strength of the nightly breeze as I walked through the gate. As I continued deeper into the graveyard, I got the uncanny feeling that I was being watched or that someone was following me, but I didn't let it distract me from getting home sooner. Although I did start to wonder why the graveyard had remained closed for so long and why it was considered off limits by the locals. I stopped as I heard the distinct sound of twigs breaking behind me. I stared into the darkness among the trees trying to make sense of the shadows and silhouettes. My heart sank as I witnessed what I could only describe as a slender figure appearing from behind the trees. My knee-jerk reaction caused me to step back and fall to the ground. I quickly looked over in the same direction, but it was no longer in the same place. Instead, it had approached even closer. I turned and ran as fast as I could. At this point, I knew there was no going back, so I hid behind the largest tree I could find in order to catch my breath. I looked around to see if I could find somewhere else to hide, but all I could see were more trees. It felt like I was on borrowed time, and I had to decide whether I was going to stay put or make a run for the exit on the other side of the cemetery. I took one last look behind me to check to see if the coast was clear. At first glance, everything seemed normal. But I can't begin to describe the horror I felt when I noticed a strange shadow coming from behind me. That's when I realized that somehow it managed to get around me. Suddenly the thought of getting home sooner didn't seem like a priority anymore, and I needed to get out as fast as possible. I decided to head back towards the main gate. The journey back seemed to take forever, and just when I thought this nightmare was finally coming to an end, I came to the shocking revelation that the gate was now locked and I was trapped inside. It appeared that my fate had been sealed, but not even I could have predicted what happened next. If you would like to find out what happens next, please share this video. If it gets 100 likes, I'll release the next episode. Either way, you can expect more content every few weeks.